Obadiah 19a. Ve'yarashu ha'negev et har esav, ve'hashefela et pelishtim. Obadiah 19a translates uh, today in full like this, and the Negev shall possess Mount Esau, and the Shephelah, we might supply, shall possess Philistia. Today's verse opens with the call perfect 3CP of the root Yarash, meaning to possess with the Vav consecutive. The they here of the 3CP is... um, is the Negev, again, a singular noun, but representative of a plurality of people, probably, so all the people of the Negev. The object or the thing they will possess is Mount Esau, marked here by the definite direct object marker. Now, just for a quick review, remember that in construct packages, the final noun makes the whole package definite if that word is definite. Here we have the proper name, Esau. That's a definite word. And so the mount of Esau is all definite and therefore gets the definite direct object marker like we see here. In the second line, the verb is gapped. Uh, And I've moved the line over a little bit so you can see that. But we get almost an identical construction. And the shephelah, again a singular in form but plural in function, the people of the shephelah. And we have to supply the gapped verb, they shall possess. Then we get the direct object or the thing that they will possess, and here it's technically the Philistines. The form here is the gentilic plural, uh, indicating an ethnicity, but in parallel with Mount Esau as a location, this is probably better rendered as the land of Philistia.